Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to the boat gang. All right, we've got a Delta Force 29 on the block. All right, uh, this is going to be kind of an introduction to our new build series that we're about to start. I also have another build series that we're going to start as well. Uh, but this is a Delta Force 29. It's 29 inches long, nine and a half inches wide. Boy, this thing is bad to the bone, son. <laughs> I got it all in one piece. It, uh, no chips or cracks or anything from offshore electrics. It's a, it's a nice looking hole. So I have the Delta Force 35. I ha we now have the 29 and the 23. So uh, this boat right here is going to be a little bit different than my other two builds. This is going to be a twin motor. Okay. Um, <clears throat> twin motor mono hole. All right. Um, I, you know, I really, I really wanted to build the Delta Force Pathfinder 28 which uh, is a catamaran and put these 2960s in it and uh you know catamarans are, are twin motor catamarans is fairly common you know you don't really see a whole lot of twin motor mono holes you know so um that's what we're going to do twin motor mono it's something i've always wanted to do you guys i grew up around um twin motor fishing boats you know my whole life and uh I think a twin motor mono, it, it's going to be a ticket, you guys. So we're going to run the 2860s with the fly color, or excuse me, offshore electrics 90s, okay? Basically going to put two 4S batteries in the keel. I'll probably go 3200, 4000 milliamp, 100C, you know, 5200 milliamp, 4S packs, something like that. This is kind of going to be a scratch built boat okay basically scratch built well it well it is scratch built what the hell am i talking about but i'm using everything from my drag boat basically you know what i'm saying that's the reason why i'm building this boat i had a bunch of electronics and hardware left over from the drag boat crash so um we're going to be running these struts right here not my first choice now i actually found a four millimeter low profile strut like this that uh I'm debating on ordering. I'm really debating on it. So um, that mark right there is 80 millimeters. So if I got the 80 millimeter low profile strut, it would actually be a lot more room on the transom of the boat, you know. But um, you know, I think I'm gonna use these. You know, I think I'm gonna use these. You know what I mean? I got them. I got them, and I can get started on the build. So we'll basically have two one on each side of the keel there okay one two boom counter rotating props and um probably going to use this rudder blade right here okay uh this isn't a center mounted bracket so we're probably going to make a bracket for it all right but i'm going to use the, the v1 sonic weight rudder blade it's what i have and uh or you know i really wanted my rudder to be extended past the props you know i don't think this right here is going to cut it you know what i'm saying it needs to be extended p past the propellers not in front of the propeller so we get a good turn uh i'm probably not going to run trim tabs on it right off the bat okay we're probably going to use the struts to tune the ride of the boat okay and the propeller choice um kind of debating on this uh mad lizard sent me these replacement turn fins for the sonic wake these guys right here i have one set on my little delta force and i'm probably going to put these on this delta force but i have an option i have two of these guys right here this is a speedmaster turn fin that brandon wind sent me the cool thing about these i can actually mount it vertically and just run a single turn fin you know but uh probably use this bracket on the boat and i'll i'll have a choice two different turn fins you know type deal uh i didn't order any flex cables i'm going to use the ones from a drag boat so we're going to have a rear a, a, a tr you know rear mounted motor kind of like you guys see now and um we'll kind of go from there with it you know this is just kind of my introduction to the build uh, we'll start the build series here shortly i got a big piece of carbon fiber here uh, this is 50 it's 54 inches long 40 inches wide i believe so i got enough to do the inside of this and the hatch which i'm kind of debating okay <clears throat> i want to run 28 series and 29 series motors probably going to upgrade these motors later on to a 2968 okay that's my plan all right because i've actually got a sticker sheet coming for this boat 
And um, you, you know the old Johnson outboard motors, the Johnson 5 horsepower? Um, I've got the, the outboard motor sticker decal sheet coming for this boat. So it's going to be a seahorse, okay? Johnson seahorse with the little seahorse logos. So it's going to be like black and orange, all right? The old Johnson 5s, are they're green, so it don't match the boat. This was actually the last hull and stock at offshore electrics uh i started to go with the pathfinder like i said because he has several of those holes in stock this is the last one but he should get some in sh here shortly so it's going to be the johnson seahorse uh theme okay and to keep the boat light because i'm running a 28 and 29 series motors in this boat i don't want to go 36 millimeter so um, I'm kind of debating on whether or not to carbon fiber to inside. This hole's fairly robust. I mean, it's it's got a little bit of flex, but um, if I were to go 36 millimeter motors, 3650 or 3660, I definitely need to carbon fiber to inside. But uh, since I'm going 20, 28 and 29, I don't think I need to do it. You know, I'm trying to keep the boat light. The hull weighs one pound, one and a half pounds, which my drag boat, it weighed two pounds, okay? And we were getting in the 60s with that boat, with this setup. So uh, this is a three horsepower setup, as you guys see it, okay? Maximum wattage is 1,300 watt on these motors, so it's like three horsepower. I got the Johnson 5 coming, so the 2968, it's, uh, it's a little over four and a half horsepower, so it's kind of close <laughs> okay so i actually got this big piece of carbon fiber and some uh venom carbon resin okay this that's laminating resin i like to use that i like that epoxy it's pretty cheap and um yeah uh so i got the carbon fiber here because we're going to be doing two builds at one time kind of you know back and forth from the pond we'll do a video here at the shop and then we'll go back to the pond and then we'll do a video on the other boat the delta force but um i laid up a hole i laid up a mold for this boat that i never pulled i never pulled the mold okay so um i've got the mold out there i've got a pva i've got it waxed i've got my resin i got the carbon fiber so we're actually going to be laying up a, a fresh hull homemade carbon fiber hull okay epoxy carbon fiber um that's coming up really soon it's ready to go i'm probably going to get started on it tomorrow um i just finished up the plug for my hatch i've uh pva'd and now i've got my first application of veil well my only application of veil on and then i'm going to get some chop strand on this and making a, a mold for a hatch i actually built two two hatches um i started with this one and i really don't like the way it looks so i made this guy right here okay i think this one looks a lot better on the boat you guys will see it in a few days once i finish it up and get the mold made and everything get the boat pulled we're going to put the top side bottom side together that's going to be a whole freaking build series and the reason i made the mold was because i wanted to make two or three of these hulls and um outfit each hole differently like put a stinger on one a submerged drive on another kind of like a little 10 shock echo it's real wide it's got a low v it's almost unfreaking flippable but i've only run this boat with brushed power so i'm really excited to finish it up and i made this hatch right here so we can like put some thumb screws on here and bolt the hatch down okay and i could put an edf fan on here make a little blow boat out of it okay it's actually got enough room we could put an outboard motor on one so that's a long-term project i want to do you know make the same boat outfit it differently um i also if they come out good if the boats come out nice i also have these available for purchase if you guys are interested we'll have to see how it goes how the boat runs with brushless power but it should be pretty fun so I actually got some more stuff from Offshore Electrics. I got my O-ring there for a water jacket so I can get that Leopard motor and the Dominator. I got some QS8s and some 8mm bullets so we can get this guy right here going, the Big Flyer 400. So I got a lot of nice, like, fun, cool projects coming up. And um, let me know what you guys think, man. I'm really excited. I'm really interested to see how the boat runs on with a twin motor never owned a twin motor mono hole so i'm like super freaking excited i got all three of my delta forces out got a little 23 there the 29 and the 35 so i'll put them up side by side so you guys can get a size comparison okay this is my mini sniper all right 23 inches long 29 35 i'm actually really glad 
there's two different oranges here um i was kind of like bummed out because the only color they had was orange it was the last hole in stock and i'm glad they used a different shade that's freaking cool man that's cool but this 29 it's only it's only three quarters of an inch like narrower than the 35 so it's it's a wide it's a wide hole and the the, the v the dead rise on the boat looks like it's a little a little steeper so it's actually a little deeper v uh the hatch on this boat doesn't fit so uh if you guys get a delta force boat all three of these hatches i had to custom fit you know sand a little bit here sand a little bit there and get them to fit perfectly so uh that's just part of it it's just, it's a custom built boat you got to fit and outfit all all the delta force holes you know uh it's not going to take much it actually fits you just got to force it to fit so we'll uh we'll include that in one of the upcoming videos okay i figured this would be a good comparison for you guys this is the introduction i just kind of wanted to give you guys a brief uh you know what's coming up on the channel so um like comment subscribe ring the bell to get notified for the build series like i said it's not going to be like back to back videos i'm going to stretch them out over about a month because i've actually got to order a few more parts uh for the boat to finalize everything i got to get a servo for it. we'll probably get it on the water toward the end of the month Beep. we'll interrupt this regularly scheduled programming to bring you guys a real quick mail day chris velez actually has uh sent me a little goodie package here it's a uh, joy's way monster catamaran that he's actually done a really nice carbon fiber inlay on and uh, he just finished up the build, and he lost the hatch. He forgot to put flotation in it, which all of his other boats have flotation. Uh, so I'm reminding you guys: make sure you put flotation in your in your boats, in your hatches, because uh, Joy's Way they they did they don't sell a replacement hatch. So he sent this boat to me. So um, I'm either going to build a hatch for it, you know, build a hatch, okay, or or I may order a second one because I've actually been looking at this boat for about a year and a half. Probably longer than that. It's not a new boat, but I think it's freaking awesome. It's really like wide for a little 20 inch catamaran. It's real wide and it's always caught my eye. Uh, so, you know, I'm actually kind of glad he sent it to me because I can actually see the construction, the material they use, and it's actually not a bad little hull. You know, um, he put a 0 0.150 flex cable on it he's got a freaking speedmaster bushing in here and he, he's done a really nice job with the boat you know so i may just order a second one so i'll have an upgraded joy's way and a stock joy's way and we can share hatches so um yeah thank you thank you chris i appreciate the the channel donation i think you did an amazing job on it it's a bummer you lost the hatch but um the boat looks great and i'm definitely going to put it to to we'll, we'll definitely get it in the water it may not be like now because i got a couple other builds planned but um probably in the next month or two we'll probably try to or you know summertime we'll get this thing going all right so now i'll let you guys go <laughs> big b we're in glad rc